bed and let's talk Jaguars football from my house. All right, folks, football is back, which means it is time for Porter's Place. So this Saturday, 57,000 fans flooded TIA Bank Field for the first game of the Urban Meyer era. Unfortunately, the Jags lost to the Browns 23 to 13, but let's not get too upset. It's just the preseason, right? We're going to bring sports director Chris Porter this morning. Chris, let's delve right into things. We know Trevor Lawrence made his much anticipated debut. A lot of folks saying he didn't do so bad. You know, what were your thoughts, though, on the Ricky QB in his first QB in his first appearance? Keith Nelson, I had some extreme highs during that game. I had some extreme lows. First of all, arriving to the game, it is hard to get downtown to the station because, as you guys know, our station is right across the street from TIAA Bank Field. I'm seeing thousands of folks. I'm like, wait a minute, Jags fans are fired up about football. Then I said, hmm, Trevor Lawrence, the top overall pick. I know he's going to come out and ball, especially when the Cleveland Browns aren't playing their veterans, their starters. So on his first snap, first NFL snap in a preseason game, what does he do? He fumbles, he gets sacked, and all of a sudden I'm starting to feel some kind of way. Then we, he gets himself together a little bit because he was sacked twice during the ball game. But Trevor was holding on to the ball for too long. Trevor, you got to get rid of the ball. So I'm in the press box trying to stay calm. Because let me tell you one other quick thing. I'd watched Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears take on the Miami Dolphins and Justin Fields balled. So I'm expecting Trevor would do the same thing. Just when I'm about to have a panic attack, he reminded me why I love this guy. Made a spectacular throw to Marvin Jones. And he finished 6 of 9, 71 yards. I had to remind myself, Keitha, it is just the preseason. I had to remind myself, Keitha, he is just a rookie. I had to remind myself, Keitha, that even though in it, the NFL is all about what you have done for me lately, it's not a sprint, but a marathon. Overall, with all of that said, he did all right. And you know the Jags defense, it was a major issue last season. If you're going to win, you have to have a good defense. So what was your take on what you saw from the defense at the preseason game? Katie Jeffries, <laughs> we have uh, FCC rules. I can't use bad language. Uh -oh. I'm not going uh -oh. to use bad language. But I will tell you this. I saw a lot of what I saw last year. That defensive line not getting pressure on that opposing quarterback. I saw a defensive line. and. Some, uh, some linebackers missing tackles sounds a lot like last year, right? Urban Meyer said when he first took the ball, you got to win both lines of scrimmage. And on Saturday night, we won nothing on the defensive side of the ball. But again, I'm going to say it's just the first preseason game. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. But I can tell you this, that bend but didn't break defense that I saw on Saturday night, if it does not improve, we're going to have a long season. Oh, dear. All right, folks, it's morning TV. Remember that, Chris. All right, so we had several local players drafted this year, and you always like to show them some love. So who stood out over the weekend to you? Oh, Bowles alum, Mac Jones, playing up in New England. You know, one thing that we have to always keep in mind, that when you're a quarterback, you want to go to a system where they've got great uh, coaching, the system is built around your skill set and I think the New England Patriots provide that for Mac Jones and Mac Jones looked like that kid that lit up defenses all year long in the SEC and then when they got to the college football playoff when he led Alabama to the national title 13 of 19 Cam Newton I am putting you on notice now this is your second year up in Massachusetts you're supposed to be better they went out and got you some weapons but if you slip if you slip that dude from Jacksonville, Mac Jones, is going to take your job. And let's stay up in the northeastern part of the United States. Not pictured here, but Sean Wade, the Trinity Christian alum. He went to Ohio State, went back, stayed an extra year. He fell, his draft stock kind of fell when he came out. But he made a key play for the Baltimore Ravens against the New Orleans Saints on Saturday. He had a big interception that in the end allowed the, uh, the Ravens to fly past the Saints, so, so good to see a couple of our guys doing well in the preseason because, as you know, we are loaded with talent here on our First Coast. Oh, that we are. So much talent here from the First Coast. Thank you so much, Chris, joining us this morning from Porter's Place. All right, folks, remember what he said is just a preseason game. Keep that in mind.